guys, welcome to my channel. I finally decided to make a YouTube channel and the reason or the thing that drove me to making a channel was how many requests and how many questions I get on my hair. So this thing is what got me to make my YouTube channel. So that's gonna be my first video is how I maintain my hair, what I use and how I get my curls to be like this. So. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the history of my hair. Now, my hair is naturally a dark brown, so my hair is about this color here. And I got the bright idea of going lighter. So I did, I went lighter, and then my hair was still healthy and it was great. But as I kept dyeing it and bleaching it, it just got really, really bad. So then I had to um, kind of slow down the process of me dyeing my hair. And what I did was I decided to go back to brown. And when I did that, I went to a student hairstylist um, and she seemed like she kind of knew what she was doing. I mean, she's a student, she's barely learning how to do everything. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna let, go ahead and do it. No big deal. I'm only paying about 10 bucks to dye my hair. And it was probably the worst thing I ever did because from then on my hair was just fried and it was messed up and it was dry at the ends. My hair from here down was literally straight. Like my hair was about here and all of this was straight. So my hair was just bad. And I didn't know what else to do so I turned to cutting my hair. And I went to a great hairstylist, Shai Amiel, and he is from Capella Salon. And he, let me just say, he earned the name The Curl Doctor because he is great. He, he went into my hair taking into consideration what I wanted to do. He didn't just say, hey, this is what's gonna be great for you and I'm, this is what I'm gonna do. No, he asked me what I wanted, what the issues were with my hair, what my main concern was. And what I told him my main concern was, was health and frizz. And so I just told him, make my hair look great. I really don't care about, you know, how you have to do it. I just really, really want my hair back. And I just wanted layers. So he went ahead and did his thing and it came out perfect. Now, let me just say, I went from hair from here to about, here like not even not even the length I have now like about here like chin and I was like oh my gosh what happened to my hair it wasn't bad but I just had a lot of getting used to because I went from a kind of long hair to short hair and I was like I'll just cut it all off and I'll just deal with it oh well it's my fault my hair got like this so I'm gonna chop it off and oh well so I did and I love my hair it is at its healthiest it's been in the past like maybe two years since I started dyeing my hair and the curls yes they are still stringy at the end but that's because of my hair because of the damage it went through I still need to go in again and get maybe another cut until my hair is completely healthy and I've been taking care of my hair a lot so it is slowly getting there and I am excited I can't wait until I get that gorgeous long curly hair that I've been wanting um, so yeah, I'm going to now talk to you guys about what I use in my hair and how my hair is like this and how I, you know, kind of just poof it all out and all that fun stuff and yeah, so let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is mainly about how I wash my hair. So, so I use my Diva Curl products and I have them in a little container here. I use um, Diva Curl No Poo, which is really hard to see like that. And I use my Diva Curl One Condition. Sorry, guys. Um, and these two products are great because they're really light on the hair. They're not, you know, really heavy. They don't weigh your hair down. And I use these, I would say, I use a conditioner maybe every two days. And I use this like once a week just because I don't shampoo my hair all of the time. And I love these products, they're really light and I recommend them. They're also recommended by Shai um, 
he loves these products, he sells these products, so yeah, these are really great. I did purchase a light defining gel, but, I talk, but I'll talk to you guys more about this gel a little bit later when I get to the gel part of this. The first thing I do after I get out of the shower and after I take my hair down from my wrap with my old t-shirt, I use my Cantu for natural hair, coconut oil shine and hold mist. This thing smells great. Let me just start with that. It is very good for if you don't want to just leave your hair like that when it's wet, you can spray this on and it, it'll be the first um, step to the LOC method. And this is just a great product. This is 100% pure shea butter and is formulated without harsh ingredients. That's just what I read back here. I'm not just, you know, talking out of my... Yeah, highly recommend it. As you can see, I'm kind of already halfway there and I just purchased this product, so love this. The second thing I do, which is the second um, step in the LOC method, is my oil. So what I use is organic coconut oil and this one is from Spectrum. It's great, I love it. The only thing I didn't realize that it is refined, I think it's supposed to be unrefined. So it's supposed to be 100% pure. This is organic though, so I, I was just like, oh great, I'm just gonna pick this one up. So yeah, I got this one and it smells great and um, all I do really, let me just try to open this. I just kind of, you know, in circle motion go like that and I, and I rub it against my palms until it's an oil and I apply it mainly on my scalp and then I put it all around my hair. And that really helps to keep the shine together. The last step in the LOC method is a cream. So I use the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This product is great to help keep your hair at like a good balance and I love it. It's not a product that is recommended by Shy, unfortunately, because this product does or is known to weigh the hair down. And that is exactly why I use a product because my hair is short, so I actually like it to kind of weigh like weigh it down. So it's kind of like a little bit longer than it really looks when I just kind of scrunch it and stuff like that. So I love this product. And this has a lot of good stuff in it. It has coconut oil, silk protein, and neem oil. So it also has a lot of, you know, great things that are going to help your hair. The last product I use on my hair is not necessarily in the LOC method, but I like to use a gel. And I know a lot of curly girls like to use gel. I know a lot of curly girls don't like to use gel, but I personally do. I didn't used to like it, but I found one that I liked, which is the Eco Styler Gel. And this one is good because it's thick and it holds really great. Now, going back to my Diva Curl Light Defining Gel, when I first purchased this, I didn't realize it was a light defining gel. I purchased it on Amazon and I just kind of was, it was my first purchase from the Diva Curl. So I just picked it out and I didn't even realize it was a light defining gel. So I wish I would have chose the other one. This one works pretty good either way, but I do wish I would have picked the other one that is more of a better, firmer hold. But, you know, I found a great alternative for it and it's the Eco Styler Gel. So I love this product. It also smells really good and it holds really great. What I usually do is I just apply a little bit on the palm of my hand and I, you know, stick my hand in the water and I just rub it against and I put it on my hair. And I use it in a scrunching method just like that to kind of get my curls like up, up, up. And I do the same on the other side and I apply some here and in the back, especially here, because that's where I get the most frizz. So, so that is what I use on my hair. That is how my curly hair journey started. I hope I inspire some of you guys to um, move forward in your journey and not, you know, break that um, promise you made to your hair. So yeah, I hope you guys um, like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!